they're critical, not just for the United States, not just for the developed countries, but also for the developing world. Innovation improves lives and communities. Protecting the rights of innovators by protecting intellectual property creates an environment where advances in technology, art, literature, and medicine can flourish. Intellectual property rights, or IPR, are integral to new ideas and the economic gains they bring. You have to have IPR. If you don't have IPR, you're not going to have creation. You're not going to have people innovating. You're not going to have people willing to take a chance with a new product. So it is critically important. What's also important is that you have the due process, the transparency, the law enforcement, regulations, everything in place in order that you can protect folks that are creating and in, in the sphere of intellectual property rights. The United States promotes intellectual property rights and the frameworks that enforce them worldwide. State Department programs, such as Patents for Humanity, accelerate patent review of inventions with humanitarian benefits. The annual Special 301 report identifies challenges faced by U.S. industries in enforcing intellectual property rights in foreign markets, calls for policy reforms or technical assistance to address barriers, and highlights positive progress. It's important to highlight the critical link uh, between these innovations that make our lives better and the regulatory, judicial, and law enforcement frameworks that, that make them possible.